There you go. Number 51 through 60 on You Might Be a Chicken Holler. Number 51. Number 51. If you use Rolaids, Dones pills, and Preparation H on a regular basis, and you know what green stamps are, by God, you might be a chicken holler. 52. If you've ever been talking to your boss on the phone, and you told him to go fuck himself and hang up on him because of an argument you two had, and you decide not to answer the phone for the next three days, and when you decide to call in on that fourth day, and you still got a job, well, there's no doubt your boss knows that you're a chicken holler. Number 53. If you got four naked lady air fresheners hanging on the sun visors of your fucking uh, inside your cab of your truck, and you got 14 more hanging in the sleeper, well, there's no doubt you're a perverted fucking chicken holler. Number 54. If you got three four door dually pickups sitting out in your yard, and one's a Chevy, and one's a Ford, and one's a Dodge, well, there's no doubt you're a chicken holler that likes four door dually pickups. Number 55. If you drive. If you drive an 09 Cascadia that will do triple digits, and since you've been driving it, it's averaging 4.3 miles a gallon, there's no doubt you're a chicken hauler that likes to go fast. Number 56. <laughs> if, if when you was 25 years old, you fucked a girl that was 35 years older than you, well, by God, there's no doubt that you're a nasty, nasty perverted meat chicken hauler. Come on. <laughs> Number 57. If you've ever been in a snowstorm so bad, and they got the interstate shut down, and you pull up to the gates that's got the interstate closed, you get out of your truck and open them gates back up and keep on trucking, now there's no doubt you're a chicken hauler. If you, if you have ever been in a blizzard so bad, it takes you two hours to go six miles, and once you get home, you puke up, you puke all over yourself, because it was that bad. There's no doubt you're a chicken hauler. You're probably a chicken hauler. I'm about to receiving at door five seventeen. That won't happen to my old man. Come on. Number fifty-eight. Uh, we don't have no <laughs> If you have ever been up so long, and I mean so long, that you think your radio, your Galaxy radio, has got cameras in it and uh, and uh, microphones, and it's recording you and uh, taping everything you're doing and recording everything you're saying to yourself, and you want to screw that motherfucker going down the road at 80 mile an hour and throw it out the window, well, there's no doubt, no fucking doubt. You're a fucking, you're probably a chicken hauler that needs a nap. Number 50, let's see here. 57, 58, 59. This is number 60. This here's a classic chicken hauler for you. If you have ever met up with your old man over in Dubuque, Iowa, and you meet up with him, and you take off trucking to cross Highway 20 going west, and you get halfway across state of Iowa, and you tell him to pull over to the next exit ramp, just so you two can switch trucks, and uh, you tell him to stay sitting there for a minute, and you go down the road to his truck to that next exit ramp, and uh, you get off and head back east and park on the shoulder, and you holler at him on your radio and say, come on, bring it on, and he takes off and he starts heading west, and you're parked facing east, and he says, what the fuck is this all about? And you tell him it's just because you want to see how cool your truck was coming down the road. Well, there's no doubt. No fucking doubt. You're probably a chicken hauler. Ah, 10-4. Well, that's 51 through 60. Sitting out here at Cheyenne at fucking Walmart. So, toodaloo for now. I'll catch y'all later. Heading up to Corinne, Utah. See ya.